Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is following tradition with the previous mid-season updates by releasing Season 1 Reloaded. This update brings in new game modes to multiplayer and Warzone along with some balance changes. Here's everything you need to know about Modern Warfare 2 Season 1 Reloaded patch notes and updates. First, there's a new limited time mode called Warzone Cup that brings two teams of three to a soccer field where you ride ATVs and bop a big ball around to score each by driving it into each other's goals. Think Rocket League, but Modern Warfare 5. There's another limited time mode for Warzone called Mini Royale that's basically a condensed version of a normal match of Warzone. It starts with half the map space, half the people, and matches in Mini Royale move much faster. It's a pretty fun mode and guarantees a jailbreak event in the halfway point of each match, but it does move very quickly. Currently, this is just a limited time mode, but it has been announced as being part of a regular playlist update to come in the future. Everyone's favorite map shipment is back in Modern Warfare 2. That was sarcasm, by the way, though it is the best way to level your gun. Shipment is back in its own playlist, but also mixed into other featured playlists for the rest of the season. As a cute bonus, from December 21st to January 4th, Shipment will have a festive look to it with decorated wreaths and lights for the holidays. The biggest update to multiplayer is the introduction of raids. Raids are a PvE playlist that you have to earn entrance to. There are three ways to earn a ticket to a raid. Complete a specific daily challenge either in multiplayer or spec ops, place within the top 20 in any Warzone 2.0 Battle Royale playlist, or in DMZ, get to the final extract helicopter with at least $30,000 in cash. A raid does require you to have a party of three in order to play. Not up to three, but three exactly. Once you get into this game mode, you'll play through the continuation of the events of Modern Warfare 2's campaign, where Price, Farah, and Gaz look for their missing team members. If you successfully finish this raid, you'll unlock Gaz, the new operator skin for multiplayer, spec ops, and Warzone. You can also replay that raid on higher difficulties to unlock more cosmetic items. In DMZ, there are new keys that you can loot throughout the map that lead to a lab code named Building 21. There are no coordinates or updates on where this building is, but this should be updated soon. The actual building did not drop in the map with the mid-season update, but you can find the keys to the building through taking down Commander Helos and looting supply drops. You can stash the keys until the new location has been updated, though they won't be announcing when that is, so we'll just have to keep an eye on that game for now. There's also a new perk system for DMZ players who successfully exfil and complete a faction contract. Once you exfil with a completed contract, you'll be given a random perk, and as long as you continue your exfil and contract streak, you will continue to unlock more perks. Along with this, you can now add a third weapon slot to medium and large backpacks. There have been some quality of life changes, including your XP tokens actually showcasing how much time you have left on them and fixing the bugs affecting inviting friends to your party. There have also been some weapon balance changes. Most importantly, the Riot Shield now has slower movement speed, lower damage, so now it's a 3-hit kill with the shield, and the switch time between the shield and knife have been elongated. Shotguns can no longer kill fully armored players in one shot, which is amazing. The cast off 545 has gotten buffed to increase close damage and chest damage multipliers. The SMG MX9 has increased movement speed, ADS speed, and sprint to fire speed on the 32 round mag. The SMG Vel 46 was buffed as well with reduced hip fire spread, increased movement speed, and long range damage. The number of strongholds in Battle Royale have been increased to 5 rather than 3 and the AI enemies have reduced bullet damage by 26%, and the Black Sight rewards grant the Stronghold UAV to sweep twice as far now. Unfortunately, Warzone 2.0 combat records won't launch this mid-season update, but should be coming soon and will be updated when it's ready to launch. How are you enjoying Modern Warfare 2's Season 1 so far? Let us know! For more on Modern Warfare or Warzone 2 news, be sure to keep it right here at IGN.